G'day guys, how's it going? My name is CJ. We're gonna have a quick chat about the OnePlus 5. So for those that have been following the OnePlus 5, then they would know that the camera is actually really good. But it did receive quite a bit of criticism for the fact that it didn't include any form of stabilization when it came to 4K video recording. OnePlus stated that they were pushed for time when it came to releasing this phone, and that was the main reason why stabilization wasn't included for 4K video. So they promised a software update, and now it's here. So with the new 4.5.7, and actually the 4.5.8 software release, in addition to all the other software and bug fixes, finally OnePlus has added 4K stabilization. So let's take a look. So to start off with, the OnePlus 5 always had a decent 4K image, but if you wanted buttery smooth video, then you would have had to have had a handheld gimbal, kind of like the Xeon Smooth Q. So how does it perform? Well, I pitched it against the gold standard when it comes to smartphones without optical image stabilization, the Google Pixel XL. And then I also compared it to the iPhone 7 Plus with its class-leading optical image stabilization. That way, I can get a good idea to see how it compares with both electronic stabilized video and optical image stabilized video. So comparing the OnePlus 5 with the Pixel, you can see that both do a great job at keeping the video nice and stable. The Pixel does look a tad smoother, but it also suffers from a slightly unnatural first-person shooter-like feel when it comes to tilting and panning the video. As you can see, the OnePlus 5 also suffers from the exact same issue, but nevertheless, it doesn't look any worse than the Google Pixel. Then when you compare it to the iPhone 7, the video, thanks to its optical image stabilization, means the video is smooth and definitely gives a more natural feel, especially when you perform tilt and panning motion. So here, I'm just taking a nice casual stroll around, walking at a normal pace with a very typical stride, not trying to add any additional stability by bending my knees or taking smaller steps. All phones do an excellent job at keeping the image still and keeps viewers from feeling nauseous. Now here, I'm going for a jog with larger steps and making harder impacts with each stride. Again, all phones are doing a good job at keeping the video nice and stable. It still shows how well software optimization can do. And here's just a few more examples of what the video quality is like for the OnePlus 5 now that it's got image stabilization. As you can see, the video quality is pretty decent, especially for a phone that undercuts the current flagships. The added electronic image stabilization goes a long way to give you smoother handheld video and it makes for a great tool for those trying to get into videography without needing to splash out on too much expensive gear. Even without a tripod or gimbal, you can still get decent enough B-roll shots, 
helped by the quality of the 4K image. So overall, the 4.5.8 update gives a much needed update to an already excellent phone, and it adds even more value to an already competitively priced phone. Keep in mind, however, that the software update adds electronic stabilization, so you're not really gonna get any added value when it comes to low light photography or video. And of course, it wouldn't really replace a gimbal when you're looking for the highest quality cinematic video. But for recording standard handheld 4K video in decent light, well, the OnePlus 5 may be able to make do if you just want to vlog or snap quick videos from everyday life. Anyway, what do you guys think? Have you guys received your update yet? Is this a useful feature for you guys? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Say good day, mum for me. Cheers.